everyone, my name is Letty and I'm an educator here at Save the Day. If you tuned into my live video earlier, you learned about those weird and magnificent creatures called plankton that live in Narragansett Bay. As we learned earlier, most plankton are microscopic, mean, meaning that they cannot be seen by the naked eye. So in order for us to go and catch plankton, we need some special tools and equipment. I actually have something that you've used to catch plankton right here. This is called a plankton net. As you can see, it has this big wide part in the front that's called the mouth. And then throughout this part, we have a fine mesh. It's very thin fabric with very small holes. And this is called the belly. And then at the very end, we have a container attached to the net and this is called the cod end. So what I would do is put this in the water and just drag it around for a few minutes trying to catch those microscopic organisms in the water. Now, this is a very fancy plankton net that we use and it gets some really good concentrated samples of plankton, but you can actually make your own plankton net at home. So this is a fun craft to do with things that you can find just lying around your house. Um, and so if you wanna follow me right over here, I can show you all the materials that you need. First off, you're gonna need a plastic water bottle. It could be really any size. It doesn't have to be this size right here, um, but I just chose that because that's all we had lying around. Then you're gonna need an old pair of nylons. Uh, these nylons are tan, but you can use any color that you have around. Just probably something that you wouldn't wanna use anymore. Next, I just have some tape, some scissors, a hole punch, and some string. So you can really use any string you have lying around your house. Um, this here is some ribbon. I have this shoelace. You can even use that. Or you can use some twine if you have that um, in your home. So in order to start doing this, you want to start with your water bottle right here. So I've drawn two red lines around this water bottle. One at the very bottom and then one kind of towards the middle. This uh, is just to demonstrate where you're gonna be cutting your water bottle for this activity. So, all you need to do is take some scissors and pierce into the water bottle in order to start cutting. Now this can be a little difficult, so if you want some help from an adult, that would be a good idea. And you wanna just cut all around that line so that it completely separates from each other. Then you're gonna do the same thing with the bottom part. Once you do that, you're just gonna be using these two pieces right here. You wanna make sure that the lid stays on the top of the water bottle and you wanna keep the center part. This bottom, you can just get rid of. We're done with that. So then, now that you have these two pieces, you're gonna take your nylons. Now at the very bottom of the nylons, you can see that there's this little foot part where it's all sewn and you can just cut that right off because you want to have one long piece. Then, honestly, just cut wherever you feel good about it. You don't want it to be too long, six inches at max. And then you'll just have this nylon right here. And this is gonna be used to attach these two bottles together. Now, this can get a little tricky. You might have to try a little bit to get the nylon on top, but sometimes if you chose a water bottle that was small like me, it's gonna be super easy to roll that nylon on top. So. You just roll it on just like that on the top piece. Then you want to take your bottom piece right here and roll the other end of that nylon right on top, just like that. Perfect. So now you can see that it's starting to look a little bit like a plankton net. So this part up here is the part that's going to start getting dragged through the water. That's going to be the mouth that we were talking about. This whole part here is the belly, and then this kind of acts as the cod end at the very end, and that's where your sample is gonna be collected. So uh, now that I have these nylons on my water bottle, I wanna make sure that they're secure in place. And all you need for that is that tape I was talking about before. It doesn't have to be clear tape, it can be any kind of duct tape you have lying around, but it should be something that's a little bit more resistant to water. Masking tape probably wouldn't work too well. So you take your piece of tape, long enough so that it reaches around the bottle just like this and you know I'm not really trying to make it perfect or anything I'm just wrapping it on so that the nylons can stay in place just like that 
Perfect. And then you can go ahead and take your hole punch and punch some holes, just three, right at the bottom. And that's where you're going to attach your string. But one thing I did forget, sorry about that, was to put the other piece of tape on. So you want to secure this part right here, and you want to secure this part right here with your tape. Pretty easy. Like I said, doesn't have to be perfect. So then I have this very bottom part that's taped to the nylon, the nylon in the center, and then I have my tape securing the nylon over here. The very end, this is where the holes have been punched. So like I said, use any string that you have lying around the house. And if you don't have a hole punch at your house, you can easily just make those holes with scissors. That's definitely fine. So then go ahead and take my ribbon and put them through these holes that I've created. I'm just gonna tie them into place. You don't have to use any really fancy knots or anything. Just a little loop will do the trick. And you wanna tie all three of them onto the end like that. I'll spare you the time of me tying everything and just show you the finished product. So this is the plankton net that I made earlier. And you can see that we have this tow line right here. That's what you would hold as you're pulling your plankton net through the water. Then all of the water would go right in here. The water is released through the nylon. And the only thing that you have left in there is your plankton sample. So try this at home. See if you can catch any of those microscopic animals. And if you check out our video that we posted earlier, there's actually a plankton guide linked into there. And so you can go ahead and see if any of the plankton that you catch match the plankton that we commonly find in Narragansett Bay. So have fun.